The number you have dialed. Please note, the new number is... The starting weight is 118 pounds. Without any weight added to this, it's a 118 pounds of resistance when you sit in. So don't, it's cold outside right now. <laughs> it's the winter time. I don't recommend that you come in right off the street and start lifting. You wanna come in and get your legs warmed up first. You, know, you want blood flow at least. You want to get your, that blood to the working muscles, the working joints. You want all of this stuff to have blood to it first before you get going with heavier weight. So, feet about shoulder width apart. Place it on this panel. And then you unrack it like this. You press up. Unwrap it. This is how you unwrap it. Like that, and you go down. I like to go, I like to go my thighs to my, my ass. Every rep. Bam, that's a rep. Bam, full range of motion. Bam, full range of motion. And you mostly push it through your heels. Warm up. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Inhale. Exhale. That's how you breathe. You are getting your legs, your quads warm, and then you rack it like this. Back on the rack, you're done. In my humble opinion, there's no need to lift this kind of weight. I don't come to the gym to ego lift. This is definitely an ego lift. I'm not a wrestler. I'm not an Olympic bodybuilder. I'm not, you know, I just come in here to look good. And you don't need to lift this much weight to get your legs to grow. You can lift like three, four hundred pounds and get pretty good results. Plus, I got a knee injury. And you got to think about safety. This is not safe. You can blow, you know, an ankle or a knee or whatever the case. The knee is the most complicated joint in the human body. You don't need to add all this stress to your life. <laughs> Especially to your body. You don't need all this weight. There's no reason for it. Don't get in a competition with nobody because you ain't getting paid. So that's my thoughts on lifting this kind of weight. You gotta be afraid that the weight on you fall on you. This protects you actually. So you can set this up here and the weight will stop right here. So it won't ever squish you. So you don't have to be scared. So I can get out. <laughs> so we got to be scared. And then you can readjust it if you want it lower. And it can come even lower. You won't never have to worry about the weight crushing you. Because they got safety features on this machine. 
So I, I have a really bad knee. That's why I wear the ankle brace already. It's causing me problems. The muscle definition isn't there. Like, as much as I train, it's not gonna grow. It's not gonna get stronger. I have to have surgery. So if you support me watching this video, you support me. Help me grow so I can pay for this surgery, so I can do this work for y'all. But anyway, you can still get work in on one leg. And now, I don't really do one leg exercise because I don't want my left leg bigger than my right leg, but this is for you. If you want isolation to your legs, if you want to put more work into your legs on a single basis, you can do single leg reps. So I'm gonna show you right here. You gotta sit kind of sideways. One leg up, one racket, press. Right here, single leg work. And then you gotta load the weight up. This is 181 pounds. All right, and then you rack it, and then you switch and do the other leg. I can't do this leg that well. But they don't mean you can't. You can get some work in doing it. Right now I'm doing heavier weight. I added three plates to both sides. So that's an additional 180 pounds. So over 300 pounds here. The leg press machine is highly effective and I highly recommend it, but it's not superior compared to squats. You won't win a fitness award by using the leg press machine. The weight is going up and down a controlled axis, so you're not receiving the full amount of weight. I know I put 478 pounds on here, but it's not the most Highly, it's not the best leg exercise you can do, hands down. Try everything, everything improves your legs. You know, don't stick to one exercise. Try to do squats, try to do lunges, try to do the leg press. Do multiple things to improve your body. Don't just stick to one thing. If you want steady progress, you gotta try multiple things. You gotta try different reps. You gotta try different sets. You gotta do a lot, high volume, a lot of work to uh, get results out of your body. And you don't wanna plateau, so that's even more reason for you to keep trying. You gotta do a lot of work. This is just one way to improve your legs. You gotta try everything. You know, you can't be lazy. <laughs> I wanna do everything. I wanna experience everything. I hope you enjoyed my leg press video. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did producing it. A ton of information in this video. Hopefully you can use some of the information and some of the tips to help you out in the gym. The leg press is just a supplement. It adds to your workout. It, have, it gives you more to do in the gym. It will be effective if you try it. Don't overload weight, don't ego lift, and you'll be fine. Remember, safety is always your top priority, so don't ego lift. If you wanna see more of Justin Parks, follow me on Facebook in my group called Justin Parks Training. I do a lot of stuff on there. Macros, weigh-in Wednesdays, spotlights, and so on. And I'm doing a leafy green experience all the days of february i'm doing a salad to get lean to purify my body so if you want to join me on facebook follow me in my group we're gonna keep this thing going that's all i got for you it's justin parks you want to do it. now what y'all want to do want to be ballers shot callers brawlers who be dipping in the bins with the spoilers on the low from the jake and the taurus trying to get check out a few of my other videos i do a lot of stuff concerning weight training don't forget to comment like subscribe and share and stay tuned i got plenty more to show you thanks for watching